on Saturday, January 27th, Kamala Harris got the vote out event in Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Las Vegas. A, 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 an incredible feat. A city worse than Los Angeles. Two visible members of the Muslim community wearing hijabs were not led in by campaign officials. The Biden-Harris campaign is clearly fan of the fizzles. What's going on? Who's going in and out of the event? I'm sorry. Why are you choosing us not to go in when we have an invite? Ray, you specifically singled us out? <laughs> Vosh, this video just cut off before they got the reason for not being allowed in. They turned out to have been known hecklers from past events. Okay, but hecklers for what reason, right? <laughs> That's racist. Is it because we have hijabs? I'm happy to talk to so it is. someone else. It is, because it is. that's clearly, it I, I was afraid of this. That's you singled us out, not... out of everybody. What? Isn't out that against Democrats? Whole... So... This is so this is um, a good example of how a bit of critical thinking can help you massage your brain. So ask yourself, would Democrats really prevent people from entering because they have hijabs? Like, think about that for a second. Wouldn't that be like an insanely obvious, uh, like massive scandal if it was proven that was the case? And what's more, wouldn't it be to the benefit of Democrats to show support from like Muslims or Arab people or whatever else, considering what's going on right now in the Middle East? It makes me, you know, but Dems do love losing. Oh, they do love losing. Yeah, man. I don't know at this point. Then with respect, you need to think a little bit harder. Republic, or sorry, Democrats aren't motivated by Islamophobia right now. That's not the thing they're doing. The motivations that are leading them to do what they're do do what they're doing in the Middle East are what they are. But they're not really an Islamophobia thing. It might be enabled by passive Islamophobia, like a callous disregard for Palestinians. But it's not like an active, politically militant effort to disregard or to alienate. Muslim people. If anything, they virtue signal in the opposite direction. So it's not really a uh, characteristic of the Democrats to do this, which is why I think it's good to look at this and think, okay, well, you know, what, what, like, what's the narrative here, right? Another thing to think of, uh, if ever you see a confrontation and a person is holding a phone, you should distrust the person holding the phone unless given a reason not to. If there is any kind of altercation or disagreement, the first person to pull out the phone is the one more likely to be farming this for rage bait or for online clicks or for a narrative. So, you know, this, very obviously, like they pull up the phone, like they're they're doing this. This is now performative. Like this is now being done for the benefit of a future audience. So the question is, why? Like, what is motivating? You know, like what 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 makes them want to do this? Single campaign. Down. That's very Islamophobic. That's very racist. I'm sorry. Are you? Keep coming through. We have You're an part invite. of the LGBT community too, right? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, yeah, obviously, but you can't just say that. You can't just say, you, wait, you can't, you, you can't just go up to people and say, I know what you are. And you're still going to kick us out? Come on through. Language like this uh, also speaks to a person being um, clout chaser, you know what I mean? Like, st like, what? in what way is this at all relevant to the claim that they're keeping you from entering because you have a hijab on, right? Like, this, you're very clearly, like, trying to bait out engagement. Are you serious? That's crazy. Wow. I, now I really won't vote right. for Biden and Harris. That's crazy. Did I miss something? Is Muslim part of the LGBT? Yes. And you, and Whose decision is that? Las Vegas. Because we want to talk to them. Okay. Right. Whose decision was this? Thank you. Come on through. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being they're here. They're they're racist, Islamophobic, the obviously. And you're being racist. Yeah. Their behavior makes me trust them. Or sorry, distrust them. Just like at the face of things. Are all twinks like this racist? Is that well? All twinks are racist, but we're not talking about twinks right now. We're talking about the policies of the Democrats or in this specific uh, rally they're holding, like who they were told to disallow or allow. Um, the idea that they would disallow people just because they have hijabs on is ridiculous. Uh, it's obviously because they did something else, like they've heckled in the past, right? Or they've done something. Uh, the question is what? Or something. They're, they're, they're disinviting they're us because we have hijabs on our head. See, like this is a lie. Um, like it's an obvious lie if you know anything about the way Democrats organize their events. The idea of people literally being barred for that is uh, is just silly. Um, it was obviously for something else. Can you ban people from events for heckling? Yeah, you can ban people events for any reason. 
uh, I guess, I mean, except for protected class stuff, but even then sometimes you can, it's complicated. That's why people, this is not a democracy. This is disgusting. Farming clout. Obviously we're the only hijabi women that's kind of clear. They're disinviting us because we have scarves on our heads. Literally. That's disgusting. I thought the body when we have an invitation, just like everyone else, what is the problem? By a man who's in the LGBT community too. See. You're going after another group. Can they come in? They were, they were already. Why not? It is, yes, because it is. why isn't it? We have an invitation. No, here, don't come up with excuses because I... You are a black woman and you're coming up with excuses. I'm not for coming up. See, again, I like, this is, so people don't speak like this in real life. People speak like this on Twitter. This is one of the ways you can tell that a person's being disingenuous. Like, constant appeals to, like, hypocrisy, identity politics, blah de blah um, it's all looking for like like the clip, you know. It's all for, it's all clip uh, 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 clip fishing uh, for the video, you know. It's not a, like a sincere expression of their belief. They know why they got banned. I don't know why they got banned, but they do, and it's definitely not because of the hijab. Come as well. I didn't. Yes, you I did. didn't give you an excuse. You I'm just letting said you that know. we're not being I'm letting you know that you clearly. Are. I'm letting you know that you've been just invited from me. Then. Why? So you can choose. Notice how the video cuts off as soon as she asks why as well, almost as though right after this sentence finished, she was going to explain why. Isn't that curious? Why after two minutes and 20 seconds, right at that point, they decided to cut the video? Almost like they said why rhetorically, but she went on to actually answer, so they cut it off here. But we don't know what happened from this point forward because the only source of this video would be from the phone they had to record it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Very, very clear dishonesty. There's a longer video in the tweet thread. Is there? Does it include that? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I see another two minute 20 video. Is this, uh, is this like a different section? What is the problem? By a man who's in the LGBT community. By a man. Isn't that funny? Oh. Oh, does it? She says because I... I I'm not coming up as well. I didn't. Yes, I did. didn't give you an excuse. You I'm just said that we're know. not being I'm discriminated, letting you know but that when you clearly are. I'm letting you know that you've been disinvited from an event. Why? So you oh, they do continue. Okay, my bad. Choose to leave Why? at this point or not. I won't and leave because I have an invitation. Why? We're asking why. Why? I've let you know we have that you've every, been disinvited. We have every right to know why. We're a black woman who is... You're targeting us. us. I hope you feel really I'm targeted. You know I feel really targeted right now. Oh my god. Dude, they're so f***ing slimy. It's, it's incredible. Um, Right-wingers interviewing Biden supporters at protester vibes. Uh, at, or sorry, at protest vibes. Um, so I guess she didn't answer. So the bodyguards probably weren't told why then. And That's you too. Disgusting. You're a melanated man participating in white supremacy. <laughs> See, again, you, you can get the whiff of like, there, ah, oh man, there, it's so many red flags. So you can what's the issue, man? They, they disinvited us. They disinvited us. And I think it's clear we have hijabs. Like, why? We have an invite. By a black woman and a gay man. Um, they might be right wingers for how they sound. I think so. My guess would be that this is kind of like a, um, like Black Hammer adjacent. Like, that's the vibes. I'm not saying they're with Black Hammer, but like, that's the vibes. Like, People who are very pro-Palestinian, but maybe because they don't like Jews. People who are very pro-black, but maybe because they just have, like, reverse bigoted ideology. You know, like, the, the vibe that I get from this is very, like, aesthetic, or sorry, there's an aesthetic of progressivism, but it doesn't, yeah, I don't know. Muslim hammer? I mean, the, you know, there, there is a pretty strong relationship between, uh, like, black na or sorry, black separatism and uh you know like muslim converts right the recorders are anti-electoralists well yeah of course also the vibe i get is they think queers are degenerates i do get that feeling myself yeah they keep bringing up his sexuality without knowing it's just really weird to go up to a guy who's just like bodyguarding an event and start saying like hey gay hey you're gay right like that's a little weird i think in my opinion it's a little strange isn't that funny we didn't do anything wrong. We literally have an invite. We have a wristband. We had, we showed our ID, but it's clear, like, 
What, we what's the other reason we why we're email. A spokesperson with the Biden-Harris campaign said the women were specifically barred after staff discovered they had disrupted previous events with Democratic lawmakers. Well, disrupted in what way? Because if they were being disruptive in a way that I agree with, then I think that's fine. Though that doesn't exonerate them of this behavior here. Unfortunately, a lot of the loudest pro-Palestinian advocates are piece of shit. Like, literally, Jackson Hinkle, for a time, was the loudest pro-Palestinian voice. Pro-Palestinian. Uh, on Twitter. Invited. We you have a scarf on our head. Anything, and you won't give us a reason. So what's the reason? If you're disinvited, you're disinvited, right? That's, that's... For what? We, 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 we deserve an explanation why. We come here... I mean, I, I can't if, speak for you, but I come here to... to, to see Kamala to, I mean, as a voter, Look, and this is disgusting. This completely changes my view on if, things. If, if I, dude, man, if you're going to be an internet grifter, can you please get a little bit better at acting? I swear to God, it always frustrates me because I have the, I have the integrity to not be like this person, but if I was like this person, I would try a little bit harder to not sound like a disingenuous piece of shit, you know? An explanation to give it to you, but at this time... Right, so you don't have an explanation. So therefore, it is racist and Islamophobic. And this is exactly what this campaign is, is gonna... The message that you're trying to spread? That's disgusting. You're gross. You're the way she said, as a voter, gives big, as a black band vibes. Yeah, true. Literally disgusting. Do y'all want to walk with me? No. No, whose decision was that? Who told you that decision? Since so she didn't make that decision. I'm all in on this being a psyop. It's not a psyop. It's just like a rabble rousing group of people. Um, they're just pro like, this is like the fifth time they've just randomly been like, hey, gay, hey, homo, you know? Pretty weird. LGBT community, are you happy with yourself? I'm sure you're happy with yourself. If they're a staff event, shouldn't they have when a visible have badge? No, they don't have to. There's no like She's legal rule. Now. Stop playing the video. Why don't they just say the reason on camera? Uh, in many cases, bodyguards are instructed to not engage with stuff like this. You know, usually because uh, a bodyguard might be able to give a superficial answer, but not like a very specific explanation on what they did. So it's better to just not say anything. If they were heckling for the pro-Palestinian cause, you think it's okay for them to be barred even though you agree with the cause? Well, it's two separate issues. If they're heckling for a pro-Palestinian reason, I think that's good. Uh, very good, you know, but like if that's the case, why not be sincere when doing the thing, right? Like what like why why do you have to lie when doing the outrage video? That just bothers me, you know, like I don't even if you're trying to do morally good things, there's sometimes like the way you push it, if you're like dishonest or if it comes across like you're doing it for the wrong reasons, like there are other issues, you know, it's pretty weird. Maybe they don't think they're lying. They do. They 100 percent know they're being disingenuous. It's 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 easy to read you. You. You do this long enough, you hear enough people, you can tell when people are lying. One of the biggest wake-up calls to liberals, if they ever move over to being, like, real progressives, uh, is the understanding that almost all right-wing pundits and politicians know they're lying. Like, there are lots of Democrat pundits and politicians who say things that are wrong or misleading or heavily biased, but believe it, you know? They're in on the ideology. But probably a majority of right-wing uh, equivalent personalities and politicians willfully, knowingly lie because they genuinely don't care about the truth. They're not even doing it in some, like, Machiavellian, utilitarian, oh, well, I have to lie to promote this cause or another. They just don't care. It's a, it's a big wake-up call. Well, they got the attention they were looking for. This account has 700 followers, but uh, the, the tweets gotten a lot of views. Like, look at this. The Democratic Party with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris at the helm is explicitly turning away Muslim constituents from attending uh, campaign events. Like, look at look at that. Like, it's, it, it's, again, like, being honest matters, even if you're doing it for the right reason. If, if they rabble rouse and got banned for it, why not just say, like, why not be honest and say the Democrats don't want us showing up because they don't want people being reminded of the genocide they're funding and enabling? That's totally true. That's probably a true statement, you know? That's 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 com probably completely correct, right? I, I defend that wholeheartedly. Rabble rouse about that, you know? Go talk to the bodyguards and say, like, wow, you're really that afraid of being reminded of the policies you're pushing for? Joe Biden is so confident in his support for Israel that he'll say he supports them no matter what, but he's going to bar people from events for reminding people of what that support looks like like yeah yeah for sure i just don't like the dishonesty you know if you let everything it's 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 a race to the bottom if you let all engagement sink to that level then you have no way of like parsing out what's true or what's not true at the end of things i have no idea how like genuine these guys actually are all they've been doing for the past while is retweeting people quote tweeting their video man they are really enjoying the holy crap okay there we go
We've gone back before it now? Maybe? There's the DSA. Uh, I might get, there might be like war footage from Gaza here, so I shouldn't scroll through. I'm just curious to see if I can get a vibe check here. I don't see, I, I haven't seen them tweeting anything that's like especially sussy. Maybe, maybe those two are just like kind of piece of shit, but overall the cause is good. That'd be nice. I think, I think it would be nice for once to get the feeling that people who I disagree with or think are doing something wrong are, are just being a little bad instead of a lot of bad and aren't being like a cover for Nazis or whatever. They only created this account like two weeks ago. That's curious that they created this Twitter account like right before getting that video footage. You can follow us on Instagram, our original platform, or TikTok. I'm curious about their TikTok. Hold on. NPL Palestine TikTok. I don't see them on TikTok, but I also don't know how TikTok works. I do see them on Instagram, though. I really like this uh, cardigan. Oh, predictably, it's a lot of videos that you would expect to see. Staffers with young Dems and their... Why do you sound like that? Oppression of civic engagement to women wearing hijabs at the Las Vegas Biden-Harris Get Out the Vote event. As a constituent, I deserve... Okay. Fifth Sun Project, X1800 Deadass, X Proud Their Production Benefit for Liberation Solidarity. It's cute they got someone to paint this rather than just, um, like, do Photoshop for a bunch of images together. I like that. I think that's really cute. See, here's the Photoshop ticket. Oh, f dude, that's f Lethal Company. I know that game. It comes across a bit LARPy, but it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like they're doing some crazy, like, you know, third column... Uh, uh, you know, right wing from the left, pro Palestine disingenuous bullshit. Just comes across as kind of disingenuous the video, but whatever, I guess. If they're LARPy, it's indicative of some deeper weirdness. All leftists online are LARPy. I'm the only one that isn't. And also, the last segment, I talked about the, the need to bring back Lenin era, like, um, the farming collectivization policies. So, frankly, being a leftist is being a LARPer, okay? You have to embrace it.